So this is a continuation of the tutorials um, about how to make flipbooks, flash flipbooks directly from Adobe InDesign. And you can see the first of one of many new features I've added in version 2.0, which is this little note that pops up it says try dragging the scale slider out of the way. Um, so if somebody uh, this the scale slider now always pops up in the center of the book and uh, for someone who misses this little cue drag to move after a certain number of seconds which you can set it drags away now i've added uh, a couple of things here one is um well the scaling works the same but for example i can go directly to the back cover um, and you'll notice that you can't go there anymore. It's the last page and the next page button doesn't work, but the previous page button does. So I can go back through, I can go to the front cover. So I've got front cover, back cover, previous and next buttons and added a little functionality to this bar. Another thing that you have the option of doing is dragging the book in its center. So when you scale it, it re resizes but if somebody had a small screen and they wanted to read one of the pages for example um, let's get into a page they could always take this book by the center and drag up and down and it gives some alternative to the scroll bar so I've already covered in previous tutorials how to actually make this uh, flip book but um, my extra widget that I've made, my book scaler widget, will um, handle some of these scaling options and add this scale bar and things like that. So what I wanted to do is just give you a quick tour of how that's set up in Flash. So there's a couple of things to look at here. There's the appearance settings and what I call the flipbook settings. All of this gray text is just instructions telling you how to do it. So it's really just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, lines of, of code here that you can modify and many of them you can just leave. The first is the source. Uh, enter the file name of the flipbook. In this case, um, I'm loading a portfolio file, which I'll demo at the end of this. Um, now, I can set a starting scale, 80%, 50%, whatever I want, or what I can do is choose auto size at start and set this to true. And if I do this, it's going to ignore this value. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically scale it to fit the screen of the viewer. I think this is the, the best option, but you do have the option to hard code it and set it to false. If you do it, it will, for example, set it to 96% of the screen size. Now, if I want to center the loaded file, uh, if you look at the way this uh, this currently works, um, this scales in and out from the center. If I were to set that uh, value, let's go back to flash, if I were to set this to false, it would basically center wherever I put this on the screen, wherever I dragged it would would be the Y coordinate. So it's easy enough to just adjust that manually. Let's go back to my script. Now you saw that little box that pops up. This is the seconds before scalar hint. Um, and if you want that, to, if you want to disable it and not show it at all, just set that to zero. But I think it's a good idea uh, when it comes to user interface because a lot of people just won't read it and they'll wonder why the controls are stuck in the middle of the book forever. Um, it is intelligent, so as soon as you drag the scaler, it knows that you have figured it out and it won't give you the hint. Now, the flipbook settings are the same as in the earlier tutorial. I can set this to true to limit the page range, or I can set it to false um, so that there are no limits. In this case, uh, I would set this to false for my uh, portfolio book because I want to show the whole book. Um, the lower page range, these are the spreads. Um, so I would show anything from two um, because the first spread is on page two, is on frame two, uh, two to 15, and uh, allow spreads greater than or equal to this one. So if you set this to false, none of these really matter. And um, this is just so, for example, um, let me come back to my 
my piece here and I'm going to get to the end of the chapter. Um, the second chapter is available now and as soon as I get past it, it pops me back to the table of contents. Likewise, if I go to the back of the book and I go back past the uh, about the author and it takes me back to the table of contents. So to look at this in flash all this is is spread redirect means go to spread number eight which in my book is the table of contents. That's it. Don't mess with anything below this line. It's all dangerous voodoo magic. If you know what you're doing uh, a lot of this code is commented and you're more than free to go in and uh, learn from it, modify it, but if you are just a casual user who doesn't really care to learn flash all you need to do is <clears throat> click on this very first frame of the timeline and you'll find everything you need to know right there.